France is one of a number of nations to have imposed sanctions uh, on Niger since the coup, uh, which could push its more than 25 million people further into poverty. Uh, joining me now is uh, Yuka Royer from the Business Desk. Yuka, thanks for joining us. Uh, hey, John Amel. What, what punitive measures have been imposed uh, over the coup so far? Well, as Philip has said, ECOWAS, the regional cooperation body, as well as West Africa's Monetary and Economic Union, have imposed some of the most stringent uh, measures uh, against Niger so far since the coup, the bloc has suspended all uh, commercial transactions uh, with the country and frozen its state assets in both uh, the regional central bank and in commercial banks. It also halted all financial assistance with the regional development banks. On Monday, a planned issuance of, new, of Niger's new sovereign bond was cancelled, meaning it couldn't borrow any more money. And now, the European Union also has suspended its financial support, um, as has former colonial power France. The EU allocated around half a billion euros from its budget to help Niger over three years, according to its website. And uh, French development aid for the country was around 120 million euros last year. Another major donor, the United States, which pledged $150 million in new assistance just back in March, has threatened to freeze its aid programs if uh, the coup were to be successful. Now, some experts, though, warn that the military leaders could find ways to skirt sanctions uh, as its neighbours such as Mali and Burkina Faso have already voiced their strong support for them. And now, you can... This is already one of the poorest populations in the world. How do we think that these sanctions will affect the country at large? Well, of course, this power cut uh, uh, with Nigeria, uh, cutting off supplies of power, which accounted for 70% of, Niger of Niger's electricity, uh, that already has an impact on the population. Now, Niger relies heavily on foreign aid uh, to support its economy. Around 40% of this year's budget was expected to come from external partners. So if all the money suddenly stops flowing in, it could have a significant impact on the population, as we can imagine. According to the World Bank, around 42% of people in Niger live in extreme poverty. And after weak GDP growth of just 1.4% in 2021, Niger's economy is est estimated to have expanded uh, 11.5% last year, but that's partly thanks to a better-than-expected harvest and government subsidies for new oil pipelines. Its economy is not well diversified and with agriculture accounting for 40% of GDP. Meanwhile, inflation rose to, to a 10-year high last year, making it even more difficult for families to support themselves. Yuka, thank you for that uh, business update on what uh, the sanctions and their effects are having on uh, Niger following the coup.